tonight. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Y'all look awesome, man. Now, magic has taught me so many things. So today, I don't just want to show you a magic trick. I want to teach you a little something about life and about choices. That being said, what better way to do that than to have you pick a card? So here's how we're going to do this. I have my deck of cards with me. You sit right down here in the front. What's your name? Cor <laughs> Corrigan? Corrigan. OK, gotcha. Corrigan. Here's what we're going to do, Corrigan. I'm going to take this deck of cards, cut it right there, and I want you to just tell me when to stop. Right there? You're sure? OK. So this is the card. Can we get a camera shot on that so everybody can see it? Yeah? Got it? Cool. All right, good. So we're going to place that right back down in the middle of the deck. I'm going to get a little shuffle. Woo. A few fancy cuts. Now, actually, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I actually want you, I'm going to take this, the box. I want you to take the deck and the box. All right? I want you to shuffle up, make a few cuts, take the box, and then put the deck back inside the box. All right? And hold on to it for the remainder of the trick. OK? Now, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over yet. Um, I always keep a spare deck on me, but before I even pull it out, I want us to go ahead and select another card. And here's how we're going to do that. Um, I have this neat little frisbee with me, so I'm just going to toss this out into the crowd. Somebody catch that? <laughs> awesome. Who's got it? Who's got it? Could you stand up for me, please? Oh, no. What's your name? La Larissa? Larissa, perfect. Larissa, I would like for you to name a color for me, red or black. Black? Perfect. Um, and if you could toss it somewhere else across the room. Right here in the VIPs or back there somewhere. <laughs> like, not today. No, OK. Um, and if you would stand for me. What's your name? Megan? Perfect. Uh, Megan, I want you to name. So she said black. We're going to pick uh, spades or clubs. Which one do you want? Spades. OK. And if you would toss it one more time anywhere, if you want to get it over here some maybe. All good. About hit her in the face. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um, <laughs> if you'd stand, what's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Awesome. Amanda, so I want you to name a card, any card, ace through king. What do you want? The queen. So the queen of spades is the selected card. Is everybody okay with that? Are we good? Yeah? All right. Sounds good. So I have with me, you're not going to believe this. This is absolutely amazing. I have with me in this, I have a deck of cards, right? And if... You look closely. Let's see. In this deck of cards, there is actually a queen of spades. Ta-da! Right, but that's, <laughs> that's not where it ends, right? Here's where it gets really crazy, right? Because if I take this queen of spades, we're going to put it about halfway down in the middle of the deck. Right about there. OK. So now you chose this card. We all chose this card. Right? I didn't influence you in any way to pick this card. You chose it on your own free will. I didn't even know who was going to pick the card. So there's no way that could have happened. Now, here's the crazy part, though. You see, all these cards here are blue, right? But your queen of, heart, queen of spades, sorry, it's the one and only card that's red. And here, here's what I want you to take away from this, right, is that your choices matter, right? See, our choices, they influence our everyday lives. They make us who we are. And some choices are very important. In fact, some choices are so important, they can actually change an entire lifestyle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that being said, let's get back to this deck right here that this man's holding. Uh, remind me, what, Corrigan? Corrigan, awesome. Now, Corrigan, uh, Amanda, you have the Frisbee, right? I would like for you to toss that to somebody else. Toss that one more time. And it's coming for the front. There you go. All right. <laughs> it's under somebody's seat. Give it a second. You got it? All right, cool. What's your name, man? Alex. OK. For the sake of time, Alex, I want you to pick a number between 1 and 20. 7. Now, would you be impressed if I told you that the card that we selected before all this that is in, that in, it's in the deck that you shuffled, that you've cut, that was in your hands. This entire trick was seven cards down from the top of the deck. Would that be impressive? 
Yeah? Pretty impressive? All right, I want you to pull the deck out and count off seven cards. Four, five, what was that, six? No, seven? Okay, what's the seventh card? Show it to everybody. Is that the card? Is that? <laughs> um, thank you, ladies. I'm just kidding. Um, no, you see, here's the thing. A lot of times, life throws you a curveball, right? We can't always have things the way we want it. But so, and in those moments, a lot of times, we'll let ourselves be defined by bad circumstances or bad surroundings, right? But the truth is we have the power to choose. The truth is we have the power to choose to be better than what life throws at us, right? We have the power to choose to love more, to give more, to just be more, right? Come on. And the truth is, here's what's crazy. See, when we do that, when we choose to be more than what life throws at us, that, ladies and gentlemen, is when the real magic happens. My name is Brandon Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Choose wisely.